On November 29th, air travel across the world was thrown into sudden chaos after Airbus issued one of the most significant safety directives in its history. Nearly 6,000 Airbus A320 family aircraft, more than half of the global fleet, were ordered to undergo immediate software fixes after a critical vulnerability was discovered in their flight control computers. And the cause they mentioned is solar radiation. According to Airbus and global aviation regulators, unusually intense bursts of solar energy could corrupt data in the ELAC computer, one of the core systems that manage the aircraft's elevators and ailerons. These are not minor inputs. They are the essential controls that keep the aircraft stable, maintain altitude and respond to pilot commands. This issue came to light after an alarming incident on October 30th. A JetBlue A320 flying from Cancun to Newark suddenly dropped altitude without pilot command, injuring several passengers before making an emergency landing in Tampa. Investigators later traced the event to corrupted ELAC data, triggered by high-energy solar radiation. That single incident set off a global chain reaction. On November 29th, Airbus advised airlines to ground affected aircraft until software updates could be installed. Regulators, including the European Union Aviation Safety Agency, issued emergency airworthiness directives that effectively grounded thousands of jets on one of the year's busiest travel weekends. The timing was especially painful for the United States, where more than 7 million passengers were expected to fly for Thanksgiving. American Airlines initially estimated over 300 impacted aircraft before narrowing it down to 209. Delta and United also faced disruptions, though they reported minimal operational impact after completing software rollbacks overnight. In South America, Avianca was hit harder, suspending ticket sales through December 8th because nearly 70% of its fleet required fixes. The ripples extended globally. Air France cancelled dozens of flights. Japan's ANA grounded multiple aircraft, leading to over 60 cancellations. In India, both Indigo and Air India warned of delays before rapidly mobilizing maintenance teams. By Saturday evening, Indigo had already completed upgrades on all 200 of its A320 family jets, while Air India confirmed more than 90% compliance. For many airlines, the fix was relatively simple, reverting to an older, more stable software version, a process taking just two to three hours per plane. But around 1,000 older aircraft are facing a bigger challenge, hardware replacements. These jets will require more complex maintenance and could remain grounded for weeks, depending on parts availability and shop capacity. This recall comes at an already strained moment for global aviation. Hundreds of Airbus jets are grounded worldwide due to engine repair backlogs and maintenance facilities are operating at full capacity. The sudden influx of A320s needing immediate attention is stretching resources even further. To understand why solar radiation poses such a risk, it's important to look back at the technology behind the A320 family. When the aircraft was introduced in 1984, it revolutionized aviation as the first commercial jet to adopt fly-by-wire controls, a system that replaces mechanical linkages with electronic signals. This advanced technology improved efficiency and reliability, but also introduced new vulnerabilities to electromagnetic interference. During strong solar storms, the sun releases highly charged particles that penetrate Earth's upper atmosphere. At cruising altitudes above 28,000 feet, these particles can disrupt electronic systems. In the case of the JetBlue incident, they corrupted ELAC data, causing the aircraft to perform an uncommanded maneuver. Thales, the manufacturer of the ELAC hardware, emphasized that its equipment meets all Airbus and regulatory standards, noting that the software component vulnerable to radiation is not part of its responsibility. Regardless, Airbus has taken full ownership of the issue. CEO Guillaume Faure publicly apologized, saying the company's top priority is, and always will be, passenger safety. Today, most airlines report that operations are returning to normal. Major carriers have completed updates on the majority of their fleets, 
and regulators have cleared thousands of aircraft to resume service. Still, this incident underscores the complexity of modern aviation. A single software glitch, triggered by a natural phenomenon, grounded half the world's most widely used aircraft model and disrupted travel on every continent. As airlines continue repairs on older jets and investigators finalize their reports, one thing is clear. The aviation industry's rapid reaction prevented what could have become a far more serious global crisis. Airbus regulators and airlines now face the task of ensuring long-term resilience against solar radiation. A reminder that even with the most advanced engineering, nature can still challenge the limits of human technology.